Welcome back to another tutorial on Timmy the Creator. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to add multiple characters or multiple design into a scene, and this is going to be quick and fast. So, first of all, make sure that the um design you want to add to the scene must be in different projects so that you can always add them into it. So now, as you can see on my screen here, this is the design I want to um use. So and yeah, I want to add these two design, this and also this design into the um scene here so what i'll do is to drag here you can also press ctrl o let's assume i'll press ctrl ctrl o so ctrl o is here just to open it you need to like open your project so that's if you don't have it by your side so ctrl o and this is um design tool and i want to open it so click on hard here and then yeah there's a measurement already there but then let me just keep it back to zero so that you can get what I'm trying to say. So what you see here is zero when you want to try to hide. So don't touch the Y axis. When you touch the Y axis, the character will be staying on top. So what you need to do is to touch the only the hex and the Z axis. The Z axis is for your left hand side or your right hand side. So when it's on negative, it's on your um that should be on your left hand side and when it's on positive, it's always on your um right hand side. You get and this one is when it's on positive then the character will be in front and when it's on um negative the character will be at the back you get so we just need to create a distance a little distance from this character so you can just press um like what you saw there minus 0 0.6 here minus 0 0.6 should take it to the um to the left hand side yes and this one i want to let it be should i make it be in front a bit okay let us put it um in front a bit so i can put 0 0.5 so that the character will be in front and that is okay So it's going to be by this side here yeah so that is it as you can see it's at the left hand side if you are looking at it here and it's also in front a bit so the next thing to do is to add our um let me see okay i've added this so i'm going to be bringing this character into the um scene so let me just drag it that's if you have it by the side all you need to do is just drag and drop it into the scene here i uh, don't worry no everything are together as one file so that's it and then you can click on hard but then you will notice this. So you can just remove the negative away from here. Okay, let's write 0 0.6. Okay, um, come here. It's 0 0.6 here. So um, the next thing we'll do is um, 0 0.5. Yes, 0 0.5 since it's going to also be in front too. You get. So if you are putting your figure, make sure it is within 0 point something, at least 0 0.5 to 1. Anything above 1, your character will be outside this um, scale, um, this um, scale line. So... 0 0.6 0 0.5 is okay then it will be by this side so if you touch the wire as this then your character will be hop to be standing hop so and i'm sure you don't want that so and this is okay yep so this is it this is perfect this is perfect so just notice that if you want to draw if you want to add uh, multiple characters to your scene just make sure that you split them into different projects then set them properly in their pose you get Give them the pose you want them to appear in the multiple um interface or in the in the multiple project. So and the next thing we need to do is just put a stage. I have a few stage here. Um I'll use this background, this stage background. No, worry, I'll make some of these um some of these um stages available and also I have some manicure project. So I, I can make them available for you and you'll be able to download them for free on Gumroad. So let me add this to the scene okay yes it's showing so add yeah just make sure you click on hard when you open it then it's open an entire file so just don't always forget to always click on hard i do make that mistake when i start using um, um clo 3d and click on okay also you can change the color of this background but i'll probably use white um yes yes you can always change the color of this background if you don't want white you can change it to black then background change to black you get also you can you can also change the type metallic glass if it's necessary for it depending but then i'll be using white then the next thing we'll go is to sorry yeah apply yeah white apply okay we'll go to the render since we want to render this oh this is not supposed to be showing i'm coming yeah off of this of this yes so next thing we'll go is to render 
yeah i think i've done some to you as you can see so okay so this is it i'll be adjusting the um image size here at least um let's go to since it's showing tabloid when it shows tabloid and it shows inches sometimes you might try to like change the figure here because change the figure here thinking it's pixel it doesn't work so what i do is that you have to go and look for something similar to um pixel add is you i was seeing inches and instead of me to um go here to click something related to pixel like a size related to pixel i was writing 1080 by 20 20p for in, in inches so and my laptop almost excluded so what you just need to do is just look for 20 80 70 20 and then you can just edit it like manually here to the pixel size to automatically change from inches to pixel by itself so this is 1080 and let's say i'm using 1080 to 1080 yeah then got me sorry yo shit and zoom closer so i want you to show the feet yeah so depending on what angle you want to pick but then this is the lightning so you can always change the lightning if you don't like the custom lightning here so um this is the lightning icon here then you can change from custom to the one you prefer you get yeah the dropbox so i think most of them i use this or i can use light six so this is light six here i don't know depending on what you want you can always make your own custom lightning the kind of color of the lightning you want it to like display on screen um things like that so it's your choice so this is it see this is light six it's even showing the texturing of the design yeah, that's cool i don't know what is wrong with the software is not showing it in the main interface and it's showing it here so um as you can see this is nice um we can also try this one too um this is a checkboard house yes i use this one too i like the lightning of this so these are some nice lightning from cloth ed and it's great so this is just how to add multiple um character to your scene fast and easy and then if it's for your personal work or for a client you can just do this to display different colors of your brand design yes different color of your brand design pose so and if you are looking for pose i if you can check my profile you can check my um channel page sorry you will see a video of me um i on my gumroad account or you just click on the description box you'll find um a link to download post free post for male and female it's for free and also characters too so you can have mixed character in your scene it's not necessary you have to have these are the same character here so you can always download it on my um gumroad it's for free there so and if you have issue trying to like um paste the character where you can easily find it in your software where character is actually placed in clo 3d you can always place it there with other character that um came with clo 3d then you can also watch the video too so um thank you for watching this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bells i'll be dropping more tutorial especially for beginners to uh, tutorials for beginners on how to um, use clo 3d so thank you